Hey what's up, I am Too Many Donuts and welcome to my review. Today I'm taking a look at the Full Action Kit Series number 1 Super Saiyan Son Gohan released by Bandai in 1989. Before we take a look at the kit itself, let's take a quick look at the packaging. Here is the front of the box, here is the side, the other side, the bottom, the top, wait, it was right the first time, <laughs> the top, and the back, just like so. Now, here is the kit, and this thing right off the bat is awesome. I love this thing. And you'll notice right off the bat, if I'm doing this, nothing is flopping anywhere in this guy. This guy is rock solid. Like, literally, nothing moved on him at all. It's insane. This figure is so fun to pose, so fun to handle, and it's just a, a cool, it's a toy, basically. It's a model kit, but once it's done, it's all sturdy, and you can, I'm pretty sure you can give us like a toddler, and you would have a good time with this thing, man. That's how sturdy I think this thing is, but yeah, it's, I, I love this thing, man. I, every, every single kit in this line is awesome, um, but this one in particular, I just have a soft spot for, just because the character, but yeah. So take a look at Gohan. I think he looks amazing, just how he should from the anime. Um, only one major gripe I have with this guy is his ears look a little bit big to me, but you know, 80s, the engineering is not as good as it is today, whatever. It is what it is. Um, so yeah. When it comes to sculpting, uh, it's pretty good, not gonna lie, I am a, it, it's not that bad. It could be worse. Uh, the chest is all sculpted there under the clothing, and it's, it's pretty good for the most part. There are a couple spots that look a little, little bubbly, like on the arms right here, this could be a little bit more defined, but whatever it's not that bad uh painting wise uh, when it comes to pieces that are on the runner that are painted uh the belt is molded in yellow plastic but painted red these are painted red on the uh beige colored plastic his face is completely painted for the eyebrows the the eyes and the pupils and then the lining the white lining on his boots are completely painted all the way to the bottom just like that there's one other thing that's painted but we'll get to that later in the accessories uh, but yeah uh, you think it'd be ugly from a far away to see like, the red painted and everything, you know, looking kind of off with the, the molded plastic, but I really don't even care about it. I, I don't see it from far at all, and I think it's perfectly fine. Um, the only, an, another complaint, not like sculpting opinion-wise, is just the kit itself. Um, this belt, this sash thing right here, like, the whole thing is you push it in, and there's like another peg that goes on there, so it's like, it's a, like a friction thing here. It's gonna be like really dirty, but it goes in like this and it like there's a piece here that holds it like that and There's a peg that goes into another piece right here um, Actually, I can show you on the instructions. Hold up. Hold up. Uh, where's it at? It's right here This right here like it does not it doesn't stay together like you'd think it would it looks simple to do But it's not and it doesn't stay together. Thankfully, I was able to get it the one time and I don't think I want to move his waist anymore because if I did it, it was it's gonna pop off and get that back on there. So, yeah, that does suck, but eh, it is what it is and whatever. So there is that. And while we're at it, we we'll take a look, quick look at the uh, instructions because I have in my hands. Uh, they're not that bad. Uh, no color, but it is really easy to follow. It's straightforward. Nothing too crazy here. You know, your standard model kit instructions. And you got some gray uh, grayscale photos of the kit doing some cool poses right there. So that is it for the instructions. Uh, taking a look at some of the accessories this guy comes with, we get a pair of open hands for your key blast and your hamekameha. You know, all all your good moves. Pretty cool. Um, there's some little detail right there. It's like some lines with wrinkles. I'm not really a fan of those. It kind of looks like he's got like old man syndrome. <laughs> not old man syndrome. That, that, that sounds horrible. He's got wrinkles, and they just don't look like how wrinkles should look. But eh, they're trying. It's all right. And then the fingernails are molded on there too, which is actually pretty cool. And yeah, they are a little skinny. I will say that, but you know they're not as bad when you put them on the kit. And I'll show you right now. You also get fisted hands for both sides, uh, straight out of the packaging when you're done with the kit. But Switches it out, really simple, just a little peg, and then you get the hand you want, and then there's a little groove right there you see in the middle, and then you're just gonna line it up and then snap right in there. 
and you're good to go and that's on there and it's not going anywhere which is pretty cool but yeah that's it for that and then the other accessory you get which is the last one he gets is a base form head which is awesome and out of the two i do prefer super saiyan but i like the eyes on base form more so than super saiyan uh but yeah they're both pretty cool and here's the catch i'll take this off real quick they are two completely different heads. Uh, faces are different, the hair is different, everything is different, which is awesome. As you figure what's... <laughs> but yeah, this thing, it's awesome, man. It's so cool having completely different heads for each side, which is pretty cool. And uh, this base form head. Unfortunately, all this black hair is red plastic molded... Or no, it's mold, red molded plastic painted black. And it's pretty sloppy, so I had to go in there with a uh, with the black sharpie and just da 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 here and there to fix up the red areas I was still showing through, which you can kind of see them still. Uh, but I think I did a pretty good job. Right there was pretty bad, but you can barely see it now. But yeah, it's it's not that bad. Uh, you just you're gonna need a black sharpie for the head, unfortunately. But whatever, it is what it is. So there's that. The accessories. Taking a look at this guy's articulation. That's pretty good for what it is. Uh, it's actually the best of the time, actually. Uh, the head's on a ball joint. It goes all the way around, just like so. He can't really look up, unfortunately. But he can look down a little bit. His arms are on a peg that goes into a torso and swivels all the way around. So you get the swivel all the way around. And they do hinge outwards that far with rubber clothing uh, not getting in the way. We get a hinge swivel at the elbow, so they bend in. Not quite 90 degrees, and what I don't like is, you see this there, or you see this right here, and you look at the, uh, the instructions. Look at the uh, this photo right here. Look at that elbow bend. That is not present on the kit. Either the prototype got it right and the actual thing didn't, but I don't know. And that really does piss me off because all the other ones have that too in the photos, which is kind of stupid, but I'm pretty sure you can modify that to make it go 90, but I don't want to do it because it's old and rare and I don't want to mess it up, so there is that. So there, there's that elbow swivel and then the hinge right there. We get a hinge swivel at the wrist, they go all the way around, then they go forward, and they go, uh, I mean, this go back and then they go forward like so. All the wrists do it. There is a swivel at the waist, although I don't want to attempt it because again, this is going to pop off and it's going to on there, but it would be able to go through 60, but I don't want to attempt it. The hips are in T-joints, they go forward about that far with the uh, rubber clothing going back. They go that far, going out. They go that far before they go kind of, they clap back in place because of the rubber clothing. It's all right. You get a double joint at the knee, but that's as far as it goes because of the rubber clothing. And then not technically a joint, but it is there somewhat. You do get a swivel at the boots right there, all the way around. And you also get a ball joint at the ankle, which affords, it's a pretty good ankle pivot, not gonna lie. And then it does go forward. Uh, no, it doesn't actually. It just popped the whole thing off. There you go. It does go back though, which is actually pretty cool. So there is that. Also, there's a thigh swivel too. Forgot to mention that. That does swivel in there too, which is pretty cool. But yeah, overall, pretty good articulation, pretty good accessories. And uh, do I recommend this guy for today's standards? Uh, yeah, I do actually. This guy is awesome. He's pretty rare. Again, it's gonna be hard to find him, but once you do, definitely track him down and get him. Uh, I would not pay over 60 because I've seen these guys go for like 100 and I would never do it. Just stay, stay like around 40 to 30 and you should be good. Don't never pay overpriced for that or above that, I mean. But yeah, so there he is. Actually, I'll go base form for the end card. So there he is. Thank you for watching my review. Uh, stay tuned because I have the Irwin Toys Vegeta review and I also have the Irwin Toys Model Kit Vegeta to review. And I also do have the uh, full action kit series Gogeta, which I can review too. So, yep. Thank you for watching. I am Too Many Donuts. Peace out and bahaya.